is one of those really, really, really satisfying repairs that you get when somebody uh, actually goes above and beyond to say that you're a ripoff because you want 65 plus tax for an original MacBook charger. Because here's what happens when they go on Amazon and they spend $17 in a charger. Ready? You want to see why I'm smiling so much? Now, just to give you an idea so you know my camera isn't broken here, uh, this is the rest of the board. And this is what the charger did to me. <laughs> oh, man. Karma's a bitch. It really is. <sighs> Look at that soot. I have to readjust the exposure on my camera so you can even see that shit. Yeah, look at look at look at that. The exposure jumped all the way up in the camera. It's at 204. And if I go back to the other sections of the board, it's ridiculous. Like the it's overexposed to hell. But that's what you need so that you can even see or make out anything in this area. Charger 65 plus tax. Motherboard repair plus Amazon charger 325 plus 17 plus tax. Like, yeah. Can I get a discount on? No, get the fuck out of here. Get. a oh, man. Of course I'm polite. I don't actually say suck it. I just say nope. Nice short. Nope. Not much I can do. Karma is one of those great things, man. This goes back to that video on the cost of being an asshole. You come in while I'm on the phone and dealing with other people and interrupt and then go out of your way to say the word rip off. You are paying retail. For, not that retail is an insult. I really don't mean it as an insult because I'm, I charge retail to people who are nice. It's just you would have paid retail, retail on a charger. Instead, now you're paying retail on a board repair. Uh, that's kind of a piece of shit, too. I wouldn't, like, if this was mine. I wouldn't be paying to fix this pilot. It's, like it's dual core Ivy Bridge. It's like, this thing is thicker than my Lenovo. Like that's how that's how I know that your computer is has poor aesthetics. When when the laptop itself is thicker than a computer that I own that's made by Lenovo, I know that something is wrong. So let's see. So we have this fuse over here, which is for something else. I think FireWire USB. It's not even worth opening the schematic for this person. Not one bit. We're going to get this to the point where it works again, and then my shit is done. Like, if the fan spins, my work is done. That's... I am... Again, I'm, there's no reason for me to test that fuse. Just none. I know exactly what Amazon Charger did to it. We might burn a little bit of the plastic on the DC and connector, but that's cool. You know. Wanna, you know, degrade people in front of their customers while they're busy and that's cool. Yeah, you can you can get a burn DC and board connector. <laughs> I don't give two shits of a fuck. Um we continue but off here. And let's I, I, yeah, just, just, just the thing, like, if you get a computer that's, like, 200 bucks, cheap out in the charger, if you buy something that's, like, 1200 bucks, don't, don't, don't cheap out in the charger, that should be the lesson here. Really? Okay.
And now for some theft from my donor board. There are a lot of probe points in that area that are completely destroyed. You can see this so <laughs> you can see this so without me even zooming in or focusing. Oh man. That were nice that ultrasonic it off, but Nah. It's so important to not be an asshole in the service industry. It's just really important. Like you could say I disagree. I don't want to do that. That's not something I can pay. I don't feel like it. That's cool. Rip off, asshole, douchebag, fuck you. Like, those are all words that in the service industry you just shouldn't use. Because it just... It demoralizes the people that are working on your stuff. And Oh my god, when it comes to food, I would... Ugh. I have been screwed over six ways to Sunday by people who make my food and I just say, yes, sir, thank you, sir, like... I'll say that I think it sucks later, but or, but like I, or after I'm done eating it. But you know, I'm not gonna say during the. I'm not gonna be an asshole during the course of my meal. It's just, it's just common sense that that's just a bad idea, a really bad idea. My dad was a chef, so you know, he made sure that I was always nice to the people making my food. Yeah, and the fan spins. See, see, damage undone. I don't really feel like testing to make sure the rest of this thing works, you know, because I'm an asshole who's a ripoff because I won 65 plus tax for a charger that I paid 42 fucking dollars for in Manhattan, the most expensive city ever. Not ever. This place is more expensive than this, but this is, damn, this, this is pretty close in the ripoff scale. But yeah, that, that's, an Am that's an Amazon charger for you. So again, I don't sell chargers online. Be honest with you, I very rarely even sell chargers in a store. I don't really keep stock of them, so I'm not really trying to sell you on it. But when it comes to the thing that's taking the high 120 volts and turning it into 18 volts for something that uses four to five amps when you're like really juicing it and you know doing stuff with it, just don't cheap out by like 20 or 30 bucks. Just just don't. Because again, this is what it will do. It will burn and skull fuck your shit to high hell, and it's just, it's just not worth it. Like, Chromebook, worth it. You know, like, flip phone, worth it. Twelve hundred or eighteen hundred dollar device, not worth it. You know, just, just, just do the math in your head. Like, what is the device that I'm powering with this little piece of shit worth? And what is the cost difference between the proper power supply for that device and a piece of shit? So if that if that cost difference is like 50 or 80% the cost of the device, buy the cheap-ass power supply. I shouldn't even say that then because t sometimes these things can be safety hazards. You know, a lot of these don't have protection. So if this obviously exposed circuit has tweezers fall on, it'll just spark and it can start a fire. But even, let's just keep safety concerns out of it. Just safety of the device itself, not even safety of the user. You know, if you buy a charger... And the difference between the price of the shit charger and the good charger is like 80% the cost of your device. Cheap charger, I get it. But when the difference in cost between the good charger and the, che and the, the shit charger is like 2% or 1% the cost of the device, like why are you fucking around with that shit? You know, just buy a good one. I, I, I really don't get it.